Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Today I'm gonna play Wonderwall. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. No, um, so I got a guitar today at a pawn shop that I have been thinking about buying for a while. And yes, that is in fact a chopstick I am using as a capo because do it yourself. Who needs manufactured capos when you have chopsticks and rubber bands? Um, no, I've, I'll probably get an actual capo, just, um, I haven't yet, because I just got this literally today. Um, yeah, so I, I was thinking, like, after buying this, like, like, what point I got into music, because I think that's something that people ask, like, oh, how long have you been playing? And, like, I mean, when I was really little, I liked music, and I joined choir as soon as I could, and I stayed in choir throughout, throughout of school. Um, but I actually hated my music class, like, I, there were times I liked it, like, I did, did, we did a rock report, and I did mine on Linkin Park, because, you know, I was edgy and cool, and, you know, Linkin Park expressed my feelings. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I was terrible at music class, we had to learn how to read sheet music, I never learned how to read sheet music, we had music class for years, and I never learned how to read sheet music. But I still really liked music, um, and I stayed in choir all the way, like, through high school. Um, and I, like, I took one guitar lesson when I was, like, 12. Um, but when I was 16, I went to see A Fine Frenzy, um, which is Alison Sudol. And when I met, like, the show was amazing, but then I also met Alison Sudol. I met her before the show, and then, like, it was a really small, intimate venue, so we kind of, like, as an audience were able to interact with her a lot throughout the show and then at the end of the show I met her again and she like remembered me and my friend from like before the show um it was really nice and super wonderful and amazing um when we met her and it just like I like went home and like immediately was like I'm gonna learn how to play piano because we had a piano and I was like finally like no I'm gonna seriously learn this because you know I'd like hit some keys and like played single notes of like holiday songs at various holiday events when like we'd have family over um but I never really could really play and then I like practiced it a lot and it actually got like decently good and then I stopped and haven't <laughs> not very good at it I have a, I have a keyboard which I used the other day for my in the other video and I mm, it's not a very nice keyboard um but it is a keyboard and it does make sounds and it's better than nothing um I played ukulele, not very, not very good at it, but I can play some stuff on ukulele, but it's been a couple years now. I have a mandolin. It's very hard to play. If you ever played mandolin, you might know the pain of trying to uh, fret a mandolin. Um, yeah. But now I have a guitar, and I've played a little bit of guitar, like borrowing other people's and learning little bits when I can. But now I have my own to practice on a lot and hopefully get a lot better and actually be able to be like a musician because I'd like to one day be a person who can play actual songs. So here's Wonderwall. Um, no, this is the strumming pattern of a song that I'm working on and hopefully will be in a future video. That's how I'm ending this video. Um, let's just see if I remember it because I just learned it like five minutes ago. Obviously the chords will change in the actual song, but I'm just practicing the strumming. Anyway, stay awesome, y'all. Bye!